my friend Joanne picked this up at the side of the road and wanted to try to fix it up for her grandkids. First we gotta check the battery out. There's a button here that you push and the seat folds up. And then you take out screws and this cover comes up. And there's a bracket that comes off. And then you can get the battery out here. Test. Unfortunately, as you can see, the battery's dead. It's only 1.2 volts, and I put it on my power supply, and it won't take any charge. We could order a new one, but I think I'm going to go ahead and do a Ryobi retrofit instead. I temporarily hooked up another 6-volt battery to the motor, and it does turn, so we know that's good. It looks like there's broken wires on the steering column. So we'll have to replace those and put a new connector on. There's quite a bit of stuff under the dashboard here. Nothing obviously is broken other than that wire that was going to the steering wheel. I found a connector that was close and I've spliced in these wires here. I repaired the steering wheel and I've got it back together. Now i got to fish this cable through this and get the connectors hooked up. Get the steering wheel back in and I've got the bolt reattached. Flipping the car over, I took out the front axle so I could get the uh, steering column to move. But there's a whole computer under here, and a speaker, and something else. We're going to take a look at that too. Guess I'm going to map out the whole schematic. Next, I have to reassemble the covers to the electronics here. I've got the cover back on the electronics, and now I've got to put the steering mechanism back together here. Drilled four holes and put the nylon washers and bolts through. There wasn't space under the seat for the Ryobi batteries, so I decided to mount it under the hood here. And I made a special bracket that screws into the firewall. This is how the 9 amp hour battery fits in there. Because the Ryobi battery is 18 volts, which actually goes from 15 to 21 volts, I'm using a DC to DC step down converter to convert it down to 6 volts because that's what the car runs on. I've got the subfloor back in over the battery area. And I, you can see where I drilled a hole through to put the wires that go out to the 18 volt Ryobi battery. The seat just clips back down. We're all set. You no longer need to use the uh, charge port because you're just going to take the battery out and charge it in your standard Ryobi charger. It's pretty cool, it's got sound effects. It has lights, it has a remote control that parents can do stuff, it's got a horn, it's got music, it's got blinkers. The blinkers actually work, it's got headlights that work. It comes with this remote control that can go forward, reverse, left and right. BMW Z4, I think. It's a pretty cool little six volt car. If this was helpful or interesting, please hit like and subscribe and have a great day.